Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Happy 4th of July. Hope everybody's having a safe one. It is roasting out here in Las Vegas. In fact, it's supposed to be about 118 degrees in Las Vegas. I think we'll be doing our uh, barbecuing indoors on the grill on the stove. I hope you guys are having a great one. Make it a safe one and a winning one. And uh, we hope to do that also. I've got a couple of plays I'm going to tell you about over on my homepage at DocSports.com. For Thursday's card last night, a nice sweep in baseball and WNBA. Uh, we hit a nice plus dollar sixty uh, winner in baseball with the Cincinnati Reds, and then I had a seven star with the baseball prop last night, and the baseball prop cashed uh, with that seven star. So that run, as you can see on the bottom of your screen now, with top plays twenty two and eight with my last thirty, and up over thirty one thousand seven hundred on a two twenty eight and one fifty four. Long-term winning run. Two plays today on Thursday. Going to kick things off with daytime action in baseball, a four-star play up $4,000 there. And then we're going to look to finish up strong with a six-star play in uh, evening WNBA basketball action. Uh, again, the big win last night and the WNBA up almost $4,000 on our current run. So, hey, this week so far in the month of July, only three days in, four and one. Haven't had a ton of plays, but a nice Four and one start to the month of July. Uh, let's get to the free play for today. It is the Dodgers hosting the D-backs game time, 9-10 p.m. Eastern time. Looking at the first five innings of this one. Uh, listen, Zach Gallon's going to make his second start after being off for about a month due to injury. Uh, his first start on June 29th, he pitched well against the Oakland A's, but uh, things get a little bit tougher in start number two since coming back. And a lot of times you'll see guys do that, pitchers who will come back from a month or more off due to injury, and they'll have a nice outing to kick things off and then struggle a little bit that second time out. I think that's what's going to happen to Gallon tonight. Uh, you know, his his last three starts against the Dodgers all came last year in 2023, and he ended up with a 765 ERA in those three outings, a buck 83 whip, uh, along with 2.94 home runs per nine innings pitched ratio. And he's been a little shaky this year before the injury on the road. Uh, he's pitched well at home, but not so much on the road. And I think the Dodgers can get to him enough here to help out the young gun, the young arm land and knack of the Dodgers. He's not going to pitch normally a ton of innings yet. They're not doing that with him, but he can usually get uh, at least into the fifth, if not completing the fifth uh, so far this particular season. Uh, we've seen him handle five innings. And if you look at what he's done, he's got a 208 ERA overall. He's got a solid X ERA. And I like to look at how pitchers do the first and second times through if I'm looking to play on a pitcher and on a team in the first five innings. And if you look at Landon Knack, he's got a 203 ERA his first time through a lineup, and he's got a 270 ERA his second time through a lineup. And he did face Arizona earlier this year. He held him to one and run in five innings pitched. So going to back to Dodgers, my comp play, first five innings. And that price, by the way, check it out, my uh, line service here. Not all the books have lines up yet, or at least first five lines, but uh, the handful that do have the Dodgers anywhere from a buck 30 all the way up to a buck 40 in those first five innings. So shop around a little bit. But the Dodgers in the first five innings over Arizona, my comp play for the 4th of July. Again, have a safe one. And by the way, uh, starting next week, right before the All-Star break in baseball, going to start looking at some potential wagers to make for the so-called technical second half of the baseball season. Also, I already started digging into some wins totals in football, college, and pro, and we'll start hitting up on those next week. All right? Listen, have a great 4th of July. Be safe, a winning one, and we'll be right back here late Thursday night overnight into Friday morning. Best of luck, everybody. Let's put them in the win column.